In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to create the cyberpunk inspired title animation. Hi, my name is Manuel. We'll combine a bunch of different standard effects to set up this unique title animation in just a few minutes, so stick around. All right, let's dive right in. I've already created a comp named text. Now we grab the title tool and actually add some text. I use the font CY Bold, which is an Adobe font. Size 100 pixels, color cyan. You can use any font you like, of course. We quickly add our text. Let's align the text to the center and align the solid to the center of the comp using the alignment tool. Then we duplicate the text layer, command D and add a gradient ramp. Start color a very bright yellow and color some kind of gray with a bit of red in it. Then we move the start and end points on the Y axis only. To keep the horizontal line, let's actually darken the end color a bit for more contrast. Alright. To see a bit more of the cyan, we used in the first layer, we add a glow. Set the glow radius to around 20%. Let's add more details. We duplicate the text layer once more and delete the gradient effect. Now we swap the fill and stroke here in the character window, pick the white color and set the stroke width to 1 pixel. And duplicate the layer once more and swap back fill and stroke. Now we add a tiny bit of glitch. Let's create a new solid, color doesn't matter in this case, name it turbulent noise <laughs> and add turbulent noise. Set the fractal type to smeary, contrast to around 290, brightness to around 18, Open Transform, deactivate Uniform Scaling and set the scale width to around 2000. Scale height to around 10. Now we hold Option while clicking on that little stopwatch next to the evolution to add an expression. We type Time Asterisk 400, which changes the evolution 400 degrees every second. Awesome! Next we hide the layer. And add a displacement map to the top text layer. Choose the top layer as map layer, set the source to effects and masks. We use luminance for horizontal displacement. And set the maximum to 50. Whoa, that's too much. Vertical displacement to zero. Let's use the turbulent noise layer as luma mat for the text layer. Much better. To add another tiny detail, we copy the displacement map effect and paste it to the text 3 layer. And we change the horizontal displacement to minus 3. Let's animate the text. We open the bottom text property and add a tracking animator. Set a keyframe for the tracking amount at the beginning, then go to 47 frames and set it to 30. We select the two keyframes, open the graph editor, make sure the snap icon is activated and edit speed graph is selected. Then move the left point down and the handle as far to the left as possible. Next we move the right point down just close to the zero line. We want it still to move at the end and push the handle as far to the left as possible. Now we need the other layers to do the same. Therefore, we add a tracking animator to the text layer above and then link the tracking amount value to the already animated tracking value. And repeat that for the remaining two layers. And to be able to change the text easily, we link all source text values to the bottom source text value. I quickly changed the label color. Now you enter your title only once and magic, it's changed everywhere. Next, we grab the comp in the project window and drag it onto the comp symbol down here to basically pre-comp it. Let's name the new comp title animation. First, we create a mask that reveals the title. Command Y creates new solid color white. We should name it mask. Then we add CC burn film and set a keyframe for all three values at the beginning. We press U to see all keyframes in the timeline. Go to 8 frames and set burn to 15%. At 42 frames we set it to 100. It's basically a transition from white to black. That's awesome, we can use it as a luma inverted mat for the text. Which is kind of boring. 
So first of all we add brightness and contrast. Set the brightness to our minus 45. Let's actually see what we do here and make the layer visible. We set contrast to 100. Then we add mosaic and set both blocks to 20. Which makes the mask look much less soft. Let's move to 4 frames and set the random seed to 4. Add 8 frames back to 0 for more movement. And let's move the center to the left half of the screen at the beginning. Add 4 frames to the right half. Add 8 frames back to the center, which is 960 pixels. And let's turn these keyframes into toggle hold keyframes, so there are no animations in between. Let's move to 42 frames, copy and paste the last center keyframe, move it to the left half at 44 frames, to the right half at 46 frames. To see an effect, we need to set the burn value down to 15 at 44 frames. Awesome! That's the basic intro and outro of the animation. One last thing. As always, let's add more detail. With no layer selected, we double click on the rectangle tool and name the new layer square. No fill, stroke color cyan, width 2 pixels. Then we open the rectangle path, deselect the constraint proportions chain and set the size to 500 by 500 pixels. And add a keyframe. At 2 frames, we change the size to 100 pixels each and set a keyframe for the position. At 4 frames, we move it to the left. At 6 frames, back to the center. And at 8 frames, we set the endpoint of that layer. And we turn all keyframes into toggle hold keyframes to make it look like jump cuts. Let's add a bit of glitch here too. So we go back into our text comp, copy the turbulent noise layer and paste it into the title animation comp. Then we add a displacement map to the square. Choose turbulent noise as layer, source effects and masks. Use luminance for displacement, horizontal displacement minus 350. Now we're talking. No vertical displacement. Alright, let's add a glow. Set the glow radius to 50 as well as the intensity. And duplicate the effect to make it even stronger. We set a keyframe for horizontal displacement and press U to see all keyframes in the timeline. Then go to 2 frames, set it to 150. At 4 frames, minus 100. At 6 frames, maybe 20. Again, we turn all keyframes into toggle hold keyframes. Then we duplicate the layer, name it line. Set the stroke color to white. Go into the path property. Delete the two size keyframes and change the X value to 1 to make it look like a line. At 2 frames we move the position somewhere next to the text. At 4 frames to the right. We change the existing keyframes. At 6 frames a bit to the left. Then we add 2 more frames to the layer. And move it to the right at 8 frames. Next to the text. On the left side I've added some videos you might like. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and hit the bell to get notified when my next video is coming out. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!